I'm reading through National Weather Service chat here, and uh, it's looking like over in Ogle County that there was a video by a railroader uh, of a tornado that was sent from Creston, Illinois. So again, that's just a little ways west of our viewing area, but that kind of gives you a sign of things to come here as we progress throughout the evening. The reason that we're on the air with you tonight is because we do have a tornado warning that is in effect in central and northern DeKalb County. This is until 8.45 p.m. Right now your time is 8.22. So we're going to be staying with this for the entirety of the that warning if we zoom things in let's check out where we're seeing those signs of rotation because really of course that's going to be key when we're talking about tornado warnings as of right now I'm seeing two areas that are kind of jumping out to me at this point so we'll go ahead and switch things over to our rotation detector and you can see where we have greens and some reds showing up so let's zoom things way in here and I'm going to kind of zoom across DeKalb County for those of you in Kirkland what we're looking at here, this road here that's connecting Kirkland and Kingston uh, looks to be State Route 72. That just north of there to about Wolf Road is where we're seeing a stronger signal of a little bit of rotation moving through. But we were mentioning this just a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, the type of tornadoes that we could potentially be dealing with tonight, they're likely going to be rain wrapped. It's not going to be something that you're going to see coming from a long distance. So again, for those of you that are near State Route 72, in Kirkland, between Kirkland and Kingston, right along Wolf Road, that's where we're seeing a stronger signal of some rotation. Now let's slide things to the south a little ways further and kind of go back and forth between uh, the storm winds, which is your storm relative velocity. Again, typically with this, we're looking for the greens and reds coming together, those little notches, and then comparing that back with the rotation detector. Again, just south of Kingston, right along this leading edge of the storms. Again, we're starting to see some areas and signs of rotation here, which could potentially be brief spin up tornadoes. Now let's slide things to the south again. Compare this to the radar, this leading edge. Every time you see a little notch like this, that can very easily get the winds moving around a bit. So seeing the storm relative velocity, that little notch that is just south of Route 64. So for those of you in Route 64 in DeKalb County, we are seeing what could be uh, the potential for a brief spin up tornado. Comparing that to the rotation detector, again, right along that leading edge of storms here, we are seeing signs and Whenever you see this red showing up here, that's suggesting that we actually have a strong signal of rotation. So for those of you that are just west of the Edgebrook, Edgebrook Mobile Home Park, uh, this is really important knowledge for you to have because one, uh, mobile home parks are, are one of the most dangerous places that you can be. So what you're going to want to do at this point, uh, you're not going to be able to outrun this storm. It's moving to the east at about 45 to 50 miles per hour, and it's already basically uh, just to your west, maybe by just a couple of minutes. So at this point, you're going to want to try to get somewhere that's possibly underneath a table or possibly uh, if you could put some pillows over your head too when you're underneath the table, something to keep you a little more secure. Again, that's for those of you in the Edgebrook, Edgebrook Mobile Home Park. We are seeing uh, strong signs of rotation here right along this leading edge. Now let's go ahead and we'll get a big picture view of what's taking place because of course we have to keep track of all of the warnings. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for those of you in McHenry County. This runs until 9.15 p.m. for 70 mile per hour winds, torrential downpour, flash flooding. That's going to be something that we're watching very closely for. Same thing for those of you in Kane County. This runs until 9.15 p.m. We have those strong straight line winds that are moving into the area. And then for those of you, of course, in DeKalb, that's where we have this active tornado warning that's currently moving through and zooming things into that one more time. Of course, we have the little notches. That's what we're watching for. For those of you in Sycamore, DeKalb, uh, just west of there is where we're seeing this little notch. So comparing that to the rotation detector, again, just kind of following Route 64. For those of you in DeKalb, Sycamore, we now have this area beginning to work its way in. So right along this leading edge, really at any point we could have some of those brief spin-up tornadoes. That's why we're on the air here with you. We're going to stay with the, the entirety of this tornado warning, which of course is running until 845. Now we're going to send it back over to Mark Strell. Mark, have you seen any sort of updates coming in from the National Weather Service? You know, here's